this country's relationship with the Likud party and with the Palestinian Authority, and it is not an option. Is that all you got? There's no. What about the kids? This will be happy. I'm going away for two weeks. Where's that going to be? At my mother's. Good. Would you have asked? I figured you would, which is apparently. You say you want to be involved. It doesn't come with an embossed invitation. You involve yourself, or you don't. The president would like to remind you that this is a fact-finding mission. Please make it clear that any parties you meet with that you are not empowered to negotiate for the United States. What'd she say? I don't want to talk about it. I'm hiding. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You're hiding. It's fine. It's not fine. Hey. See? No. That's fine. I just didn't get enough sleep. You always arrange your rear, aren't you? Josh spoke to Lisa Wolf. She gave you a name? You are a faithless wife. What's the name? Christopher Mulready. Wait for it. Christopher Mulready? There it is. Who's that thing? America's Democrats, the triumph of socialism. I don't like that. Men wrote a book that flushes the entirety of the doctrine of unenumerated rights down the, the toilet. Garbage disposal. No right to use a condom. No right to get an abortion, certainly. No protection from electronic searches. No substantive due process. He's what, 48? Uh, the left's gonna blow a gas. No separation of church and state. We get problems on the right, too. Kogan, Howard, Sandello, they can't vote for him already. Their constituencies are too modern. I don't know the name. That is the name. Yeah, this is the name. deal. He's what Evelyn Lang is today. We nominate the patron saint of a woman's... Mulready? Yes. The sentinel minority set aside struck down hate crime legislation. What else? The Miranda rights? Feeling pretty good about that? It's not. The minority leader and the business end of a two by four. Yeah, we got a 21 year old Glenn Levitt not around here. That ain't your drink. Why is still here? Oh, she's a big hit. She has to leave for Evil Friends Kidney's on his way. I did our secret wrap it up sign, which is I'm not going to say the deputy NSA needs to talk about Japan. And he said, you talk from you've been there, which is true, but maybe you think he's forgotten it's a secret sign. All right, excuse me, Mr. President, we need to move on. If you want the job, you're going to have to work on your typing. Hmm. Mommy's making you rice. To go with your delicious pot pie. Right. Who's your favorite mommy? You are, because you're my only mommy. Oh, just a hello. That's not being impeached? No, this is a not particularly subtle form of intimidation about the gays in the workplace case. That would be illegal. My point exactly. The president wants to leave. Any minute now. Six years ago, I read your article on Bellington. <laughs> and I may be out on the fringe here, but I, I, I don't see how a family values conservative justifies denying committed couples access to the benefits of state sanctioned monuments. Homosexual couples, aren't they? A couple's a couple. How do you. How's your eyes open? He's a blast. Come meet him. He's still here? Oh my god, you're drunk. I think it's just promised him a poor girl on Rhodes Project Island and I'm gonna just build it doesn't exist. Oh, don't try and keep up. She's got a wooden uh, collar leg. D this a lot. It's an equal protection violation. Homosexuals are not a suspect class. Government denies access I mean, to over 1,000 federal protections. To what? Survivor benefits under Social Security. $255. I'll write you a check. Hospital decision makings. I talked about power of attorney, not marriage. Besides the fact that government doesn't restrict access to marriage. Of course it restricts access. It restricts both faith and credit. So Vermont gets to steer nationwide marriage legislation. Vermont? Well, this is a sight to see. 
one of the more unlikely meetings in the history of the Bartlett White House. It's good to see you over the free tickets. I came to say goodbye. I wish I had a camera. Mr. Ziegler was trying to convince me that the Pensive Marriage Act is unconstitutional. So much he was trying to convince you. <laughs> what? He doesn't need convincing. Well, I wasn't doing it He's making the chain. He would make hates congressional overreach, and then Congress doesn't have the power to legislate marriage. The issue isn't private or equal protection. It's enumerated powers. You'll have an easier time knocking down Doma than I will. Lack of imagination on your part. I may be so bold. You're reacting my chain. You call me in for a meeting with the Democratic president in the middle of the night. Are you really going to give me crap about me being your chain? What's wrong with you? Gesticulating wildly. Excuse me. This suit is for CJ. He's on the home job. Is he leaving? I expect CJ to hold job. He's cracking down gay marriage bans as she's defending him. And there are sleepless thieves. And he's defending the chain gang. She's defending him. Oh, he's down with him. He's out with him. What's I am not. No, I am not rewriting Article 1. I said the Constitution is not a federal issue. And Lopez. Lopez over 250 years of precedent. Too bad they wrote a plain text reading of the Commerce Clause does not afford Congress. A plain text.